All right, everyone, Nick Berlin on Berlin Builds. Today, I'm gonna to show you some tips and tricks for ripping out baseboards to make your life easier for reinstalling new baseboards in place. One of the best things that you can do is cut the caulk that's on the top of the baseboard right here. So I take a utility knife. I really like these Milwaukee Fastbacks, but it doesn't have to be this. And you just take this and you cut right across the top right there. The paint kind of forms over this, if that makes sense. And when you pull this off, a lot of times, you'll start to lose paint and sheetrock off of the top of the baseboard, which if you're going from like a two inch baseboard to a five inch baseboard, not always that big of a deal. But if you're not, you're going similar size, you want to do this for sure. But even sometimes you might get a big break if you don't do this, that can go above your five inch baseboard. So take a knife and score across the top. When it comes to pry bars, I really like these East Wings. I like them because they're thinner right here. So it's easier to slip that in between the wall and the baseboard and not ruin the sheetrock. Get yourself a thinner bar. These East Wings are pretty good. Don't necessarily have to go with this one, but you can find one that's pretty thin. It's gonna be better. I like to start on one end. And now we know that there's gonna be a stud right here. So if you come in and put your pry bar right here, what you can do is you're gonna have more um, ability to push and pry with the pry bar, where there's a stud, than if it's just sheetrock. If it's just sheetrock, you might just blast a hole through the wall. Try and be cognizant of where the studs are. If you're going along, you can just do a quick little find like that. Find the spot that doesn't, that doesn't sound hollow, and there's probably a stud there. Once you have your pry bar in there, I like to do a side motion like this, and you can kind of pull, and I like to use these ripping cloth hammers, because see how I can slide that in, and you can just start to work your way down like this. And you can just use a side angle or side um, kind of twist with your wrist. It's a little bit more effective than doing twenty cut like this most of the time. Okay, now that you've got the baseboard off, you take a fine one tool and you scrape off the remaining caulk that's there. And then I take a hammer and I hammer in any of the nails that are still sticking out. All you do is just take your tool and you just kind of lay along like this. The reason that you want to do this is so that your baseboard can sit tight on that wall and you don't get a weird gap with the baseboard rocking. Another big thing is wear knee pads because if you don't, it's really going to suck and you're probably going to have crippled knees when you're older, which nobody likes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you on the next one.